Hello, this is Jim from TechBuzz again, and today we're going to look at the Apricorn Aegis Secure Key 3NX. This is one of their latest ones, they have a couple. Um, there's a 3.0 version as well. And it's a USB 3.1-3.0 flash drive. And again, ideal in this day and age for storage, uh, encrypting your data and so on, and with GDPR. So it comes in a small little box like so and you will get your startup going so on which we'll check out. Again our small print from their lawyers with the end user agreement and so on and you get the key itself and that's it. It comes in a nice spongy padded box for protection. So this is the key here, which is just your average sized USB key. And on top we can see we have the same setup as its bigger brother here. You have the three LED lights on top for open and lock and admin mode and so on. And your keys here, which are quite tactile, good feedback on them. And your lock and unlock key on the bottom with the Apricorn branding down here and the NX badge on top there. On the back it will give us some more specs. We have a 3.7 lithium polymer rechargeable battery so when you plug this in to your laptop or PC it automatically charges for you. So you don't need to have any other um, cable or anything to power it up or anything like that or dedicated cable like some might do um, which is a bit silly so this is just a straight again plug and play no frills get to action quickly and away you go so on top here you have a little piece here where you can attach to your keys if you fancy doing that around the case maybe and you have your cap here which will protect the top but not in use so Again, we'll just go through the setup, just check the keys out there. They are raised quite well, very tactile, as I said, and simple to use. So this, again, is cross-platform compatible, no software required, host-free, onboard key authentication, and a rugged extruded aluminium enclosure. With this one here, this is the 4 gigs. You have your power supply via USB. And you have super speed USB with backwards compatibility with USB 3, 2 and 1.1. And you have a 3 year limited warranty. And system requirements would be Max Linux, Android, Symbian systems or anything like that. So you can actually connect to phones again similar with this one here. Um, which is pretty cool. If your phone supports USB in the go obviously. And that's pretty much it. Again, we have the same total um, control of usage here with admin rights and so on. So, protected again. And again, it's solid. You could probably drive over this and nothing will happen to it. And it's ultra compact. And again, it's validation, patient, validation pending for FIPS 140 level 2. Um, 142 level 3, sorry, validating pending. And same as this one here, so they're the highest rated secure devices there is out there today. And again, it's a software free setup, so we'll check it out in a minute and show you the setup process, which was quite similar to the previous version we've done. So we're on to setup now, and again, it's a similar process, and this time. You um, are better off, as advised, not to press any buttons while this is plugged in to your laptop or PC, as it could cause damage, and not a good thing to happen. So again, we have the same 
options as before, just slightly different. You can't use numerical keys in, in a row, so you can't use a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, as that's not allowed. And easier passwords to crack, which they are. So what you'll do is, the key is asleep there now at the moment, and you will press the green key to wake it up, and you can see the two LED lights have come on here, as we've seen in the previous setup. And that means there's no admin established. But this again, like the last one, will not be detected by your computer or laptop in standby mode or anything like that. So to keep that in mind. So setting up, we would press the unlock key plus nine simultaneously. And we can see that the green LED is flashing. So then we enter our pin once again. So we just pull this away. Pop in our pin and the light will flash green three times and go to blue, which means that the device has now got its pin. So what we have to do is put the pin in again. And that means that the device is now locked. So that's pretty much how you set it up and we're ready to go and we're in, we are in the admin mode as such. So from here then you can again set up another pin and you can have someone else have access to the idea and to enter, to exit the admin mode you press the red key here. And it will glow solid or wait 30 seconds until the secure key is secure and it will return into a sleep mode. If no additional user is added or further admin, admin feature to be set, your agent key is set up ready and now for use. So it's ready to go right now as it is. So then you pop it into your laptop or PC. And you can hear the connection again. And you can see that all the keys are lit up there. And you will need to pop in your pin to get started and get access to the unit. You won't get access to it at this stage here because it's locked. And once that's accessed, then once you put the pin in, you can then start transferring your data across onto the device and it will come up on your left hand side of your peripherals that are connected as will happen with anything you connect to your PC and this time it will come up under the name of